is it okay to use your wrist during the fly cast? This is a hot debate. I hear instructors all the time, usually semi, not even professional, not even semi-professional, amateur instructors say all the time, you can't use your wrist in the fly cast. Don't use your wrist. You're breaking your wrist. Stop using your wrist. And it drives me absolutely nuts because you have, in order to get a proper fly cast, you do absolutely have to use your wrist. You just need to know how to use it. Okay, so I'm just going to throw a couple of casts. I'm going to teach you something here. Guess what? The fly doesn't care how you hold the rod. I, I'll show you a bunch of cool stuff. All that matters is what the rod tip does. You can hold, I don't even have to have a handle on the dang thing. All that matters is what the rod tip does. Your wrist is much less relevant. The wrist can be your best friend or your worst enemy in the cast. But I can grab the rod with two hands and cast it like a left-handed baseball player. I can wind up and I can throw a heck of a fly cast in a pretty unconventional fashion like that right there. I can actually cast really well and I'm probably breaking my wrist. I can hold the rod like this. Doesn't matter. I've practiced just in case I lose a couple of fingers running the table saw. You can do a lot of different stuff with the fly cast. All that matters is what the rod tip does. That's the fly's only communication to you is with that rod tip. And what we want to do is we want to send that fly right where we want it to go every time. Let me show you how not to use your wrist in a fly cast. and then I'll show you what the wrist actually can do. We're gonna throw a pretty traditional overhead cast here, okay? We're gonna pick it up. I'm even gonna false cast once, and I'm gonna lay down that elk hair caddis right in front of that rising trout there. The wrist can be your worst enemy if you do this, and most people who have that, that bad habit of using their wrist at the wrong time is their wrist initiates the cast, and they get this pivot point out in here. And what you just told that fly to do by initiating the cast with your wrist is you told that fly to go straight in the air. And what I need to do is I need my back cast to get sent back behind me just as far as my forward cast. And we can't initiate that cast with the wrist. The wrist should never bend when it's out in front of you. We bend at our elbow. Then we, you notice I haven't broke my wrist. Then I drive back and my wrist is gonna be used at the back end of my cast and it will actually, when I begin to go forward, I'm going to start with my wrist and that's going to tighten up a little bit of slack. And then I'm going to drive with my elbow and my shoulder. So yes. Oh, it's windy. Holy smokes. Where did that gust come from? Uh, but you absolutely, in a traditional overhand trout cast, you should be using your wrist. You need to be disciplined. You need to use it at the right time. But to say you don't use your wrist in the fly cast is just a gross misstatement. You need to know how and when. Don't initiate with the wrist. Use your wrist at that back end. It is very helpful for making your cast nice and smooth and effortless and drawing that slack tight right at the beginning of your forward cast. Learn to use your wrist properly. You're going to get a lot better cast. And for those of you that are nagging your loved ones, telling them to quit using your wrist, stop that teach them when to use the wrist and that's at the back end of your cast not out in front of you like so that's my tip of the day